guys and welcome back to the pig room or welcome to the pig room if you are new here it has been i want to say almost four weeks since i've last talked to you guys you guys don't know my life has been going so crazy lately i've been going through so many roller coasters and motions and curb balls and all kinds of things that i've not had the chance to sit down and film for you guys for quite some time now basically a month but i can confidently say now that my life has kind of subsided it's gotten a little bit slower things have calmed down the craziness has definitely gone away and i I can get back to myself and get back on track. Lennon has the zoomies right now and she's going crazy. I think she's just as happy as you guys probably are for me to be filming today's video. So because I have not been on this channel for quite some time now and I feel so awful and really bad, I really just wanted to kind of make this a really long video, almost like movie long, I guess you could say, maybe like an hour, maybe even an hour and a half, maybe not an hour and a half, maybe an hour. Yeah, this video is going to be about an hour long. What I have planned for it is a lot. I want to do opening packages with you guys, updating you guys showing you the pigs folding laundry checking out Caroline which I had to update you guys about there's a bunch of stuff that's going to be going down in this video so go get a snack go get something to drink sit down and enjoy and relax and let's get into this video finally I like I can't believe I haven't filmed this long, so let's get right into it. As you may or may not be able to tell, there's been a, a little bit of a change here. What I have here now is finally a decent mic. I mean, the one that I had before was pretty good, but I finally got in the mic of my dreams. I hope the sound quality is nice. I'm sorry if it sounds a little bit weird. Still playing around with it. This is my first time ever using it. I did a little bit of an audio test last night just to test it out. Sounded great, so I'm hoping it sounds just as good. Just trying to amplify our content here, guys, and just get a little bit more professional. I have some really great videos is planned so this is going to help me out a lot the first thing that I really want to get into with doing this video is let's open some packages you guys hooked me up well two people actually with Christmas coming around I actually ended up opening the packages that you guys sent me because I thought it was stuff that I ordered not knowing that it was wishlist stuff from you guys so I apologize but I did open up basically all the things that you guys sent me so the first thing is from Dana and she actually I think I actually have the I do I have the little Amazon card that she said it says Merry Christmas from from Dana P. I believe that's how you say your name. Dana, that's not Dana because it would have an I in there. Dana, I think it's Dana P. But she actually ended up sending me three things in total. One of them I actually already cracked into because I was actually running low on these, but she sent me two bags, two bags of the vitamin C treats, which are my pig's absolute favorite. These are just a really good way to get a good boost of vitamin C through your pigs and to have them enjoy kind of a treat at the same time. I already went through one bag, so I'm sorry I can't show it off, but she did send me two of these just so you guys know. So thank you so much. Much. And not only did she send me just that, if you guys don't know, I actually have the houses by Pauchy, the wooden ones, and they're really, really great, good quality, and they're really, really big. I love the size of the holes in the windows because it really does allow your biggest pig to fit through them. They did actually recently come out with a new version of their huts, and I was like, I gotta have it. So I just threw it on my wish list, just hoping, you know, someone would come across it and wanted to spoil me with it. And to my surprise, someone did. And she actually ended up sending me this guinea pig cabin with a pee pad set. I thought it was really interesting because it actually comes with a pee pad, which I've never seen before. So I just wanted to open this up on camera with you guys with adding Leon and Mr. Styles to the family and going to be doing a cage upgrade for them and finally giving them a place to live. You guys can see their cage right here. It's kind of temporary still, even after like two months of having them. So we're going to eventually be putting them into the cages where the other pigs are and incorporating them into the room. So I thought I would save this for them because again, you know, they came from a really bad previous situation. So I just want to spoil them to death and give them one of these. So let's just open it right here. So similar. Oh, wow. The pee pad actually looks really nice. So we have this pee pad right here. Also, sorry, you guys, if I sound a little congested, I just got over having not COVID, but a cold um, for the last, I want to say like four or five days. And that's been like, I've been doing good, bad, good, bad. So it's been kind of crazy luckily having a good day and kind of getting over my sickness so I apologize for my voice let's go ahead and open this up right here same packaging as the other ones kind of like this white little bubble wrap material it's like Christmas all over again <laughs> so excited so let's actually construct this and see what it looks like the reason why I love these so much not only because they're really great quality and a great build but also because they're really easy to construct so they actually have this kind of tongue and groove mechanism right here so you just slide the pieces in there and then it's all good to go it takes like less than 30 seconds to actually do it so here is the house right here it's actually almost the same size as the ones that I have it's just a little bit more rectangle and then the only difference also is it has wrong hand Austin is it has these little cutout windows right here I'm really happy that they went for this size of holding 
holding that doesn't sound right i'm really happy they went with this size holes of um windows because they're a good size where your pig is not going to get their head stuck in them they're just way too small for that to even happen even probably for a baby so i love this a really cute design and then on the side entrances we have the two windows right there and it also allows for them to have another door and entrance and exit so really like this this is seriously one of my favorite wooden houses by far so thank you so much to dana for sending me these you are seriously so sweet and i know that leon and mr styles are going to love that to death i almost forgot the pee pad so let's go ahead and open this up i'm not sure how well it's going to be it kind of just looks like a one material type thing where it's not like super absorbent like a u-haul pad situation that i make and so it has um i guess like a waterproof side right here like kind of like the sock material where it has like the anti-slip little beads and then it just has this kind of more felt side right here i'm not sure if i will use this i'm probably going to end up using this like underneath and putting a pee pad on top just because i know it's probably not the most absorbent but nonetheless really great addition to that so really happy about that for myself um before i get into the other one that autumn sent me so this toy is by all living things and it's the Timothy Hay Hoop Treats. This is my pig's absolute favorite toy by far out of everything that I ever buy them, along with the Oxbow Timbells. Why I really like these is because I have a semi-hack for them where you can actually get three toys out of one. These rings are actually connected to each other, but I actually cut the middle one and then take it off and then you end up with three separate rings. So that'll allow for every pig to enjoy one and there's no fighting or like tug of war. They love doing that. Even though I give them three, they kind of want to fight over the same one. So I got two of these, gave one to them last night, but I will end up giving these to someone else. And then all Autumn was kind enough to actually send me something and she says enjoy your gift Merry Christmas from me and my pigs to you and yours from Autumn. So she actually ended up getting this from my wish list as well. I honestly did not expect this to be this big. When it arrived I was like what is this? Like, I don't ever remember having anything or ordering anything that was this big. And I opened it up. And I was like, oh my God, this is like bigger than I intended. But it just has kind of like these metal poles going throughout it. So you can actually bend it. The reason why I love these as well is because a lot of my pigs love to just go on top of things. So these are sturdy enough to actually hold a pig on top of. And then also it just acts as a hide. You can do it as a tunnel. So many things. This thing is literally so big. This definitely could be used for like a smaller bunny. You can obviously make it even taller if you want so something like this but you could also do it like this where it's kind of like a bridge these are not only good to just have you know as a hide or anything like that but it's also a really good interactive toy for your pigs to chew on and grind their teeth down thank you so much autumn for sending me this i'm not sure who i'm going to give it to but i definitely will find a time and place to be giving this to the pigs so thank you a lot i appreciate it and then let's get into this package right here oh i think i do know what's in here actually which is something that i actually need because i'm running low do i have a scissor or anything like that i guess we're just gonna have to use our hands so let's go ahead and open up this package right here. Pointless bubble wrap that we don't need because this stuff doesn't even get damaged. Alrighty, yes. So we have more of the Oxbow Natural Science Joint Support. I haven't had these for I think over a month just because I've forgotten to place the order. I only ever really give these to Caroline and Lennon who are my oldest pigs. I also could probably give it to Leon and Mr. Styles because the vet did say that they're probably three and a half so they're a little bit on the older side but these are really great if your pig has arthritis or is just old for joint support and I've been noticing I'm going to give you guys a full update and a whole rundown of Caroline but she is limping on her right foot. I think it actually may be a result of her straining it when she was playing with Wanda because she loves to chase her and play around with her and she's a little old lady so she really shouldn't be doing that and also I noticed this morning that she did have a little bit of scabbing underneath her right paw so I'm going to take a look at that maybe that's why she's limping around. But these will really help even if it's not the case where it's kind of arthritis or a sprain or whatever. Um, These are just really good overall for your pigs to have if they are on the older side so going to definitely be giving these to Lennon and Caroline very soon and then these I I actually ended up getting the idea from guinea pig jungle sarah i think she did a haul like a couple months ago i think it was actually her first haul that she did where she had these i'm kind of blanking on it but she actually introduced me to these and i was like oh my god those look delicious so i ended up placing an order oh <laughs> so, so dusty damn i actually ended up placing an order for these like three months ago and i gave them to my pigs and they like ate the crap out of them in a few days so i thought i would spoil them to death these are actually the bigger ones so i'm sure that i can actually take these off and just give them to the, all the cages which is really nice i'm always looking for ways i can diy toys so i would actually end up probably just cutting the wire off and then just giving all the pigs one of these because whatever this is i think it's just condensed timothy hay it's their absolute favorite and they go hard they go to town on these but they just have this little hook on them you can just hook it to the cage and they will just chew away at this so that actually came with two of these and then did i order this 
Did they send me the wrong food? I could have sworn that I did not end up getting this food. Never mind. I did actually end up getting this food. This is the Oxbow Essentials adult guinea pig food. So what I've actually been doing these last two months for my pigs is just giving them a couple selections of pellets, mixing them together, and then feeding them it that way, just because I like to have more variety in their diet so they can kind of pick and choose what they love. My pigs don't give me that much troubles when it comes to being very picky. Some of them, yes, but when it comes to pellets, they for the most part eat everything, even if it's different pellets. Toby and Ashton are probably my most picky and they will actually end up just only eating what they enjoy. So they actually only really like these, not the Garden Select brand, which is what I really like to give to my pigs because it's more on the healthy side compared to this one because it doesn't contain soy. I did actually notice that Amazon increased their prices of the 25 pound bag to about $45 and it was like $30 before. So they're increasing their prices. I believe it's only like uh, 24, 22 on, on Chewy. So you can get it a little bit cheaper there, but for for some reason, you know, <laughs> not for some reason, inflation is happening. People are increasing their prices of their products. So I think that it might be better for you guys to stock up on things that you need that are essential, essential, um, that you really need while it is decently priced and at its lowest because things are really increasing price-wise. And it's a shame because having all these pigs, they go through a lot of food. So what I did is I actually ordered the small bag. I've never gotten the small bag before, only when I had like two pigs at the time. But this is the eight pound bag of the Oxbow adult guinea pig food. And then along with the Garden Select and mixing it with this, I also ordered the Small Pet Select non-GMO and soy free pellets. I've heard nothing but good things about that. So I believe that's on the way maybe around January 4th, I believe it said. Amazon is really crazy right now. I actually ordered another one of those wooden houses for myself. And it says it's not getting here until like February 14th. So I'm not sure how to take that. I don't know if it's actually the case where it's going to take about two months, um, but I guess we'll just wait and see. But yeah, this could have not came at a more perfect time because my pellets are running pretty low. And then something that I can not show you guys, it's over there. It's just way too big. I'll show you guys later, but I can just talk about it is I invested and finally got the shop vac. It's a big, big, Big Mama vacuum. It is massive. It's mainly used for people who are in like construction and stuff. It's a very heavy duty vacuum. So I actually ended up just getting one of those because my vacuum was shot, doesn't work anymore, clogs all the time, doesn't suck up. It just, it, it doesn't work. I had it for like eight years now. So that explains that. So it was time to get a new vacuum. Does not clog. I can suck up as much hay as I want and the thing will just take it in easily. So I'm really happy with that. And it has made my life a living dream. My spot cleans have literally changed from like an hour and a half for all the cages to about maybe a half hour. I believe I paid about $75 for it. It's weird, the littler one, the, the 40 liter was actually more expensive than the 70 liter. Not sure of the case. I think the filter might be more expensive, which is why they want you to buy that one. But I love it to death. It seriously changed my life. It gets up every single possible thing you can imagine on your floor and in your cages. So that is my little haul for you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Again, so happy to be back and seeing your faces. I've just like been waiting for this moment when I can get back to YouTube and just doing stuff like this. So I'm really happy to be filming and just talking with you guys. But this room is a mess. It's crazy. I got to clean up. So let's go ahead and clean up this room and I will show you guys the piggies because I'm sure that's what you're here for. You're not here for me. You're here for the piggies. Can we just admire Winston right now? He is just the cutest little boy ever snoozing away inside of his cage. Oh, look at my precious boy. Hi, Win. There's Kai over there. You just sleeping? You got Ezra right over here. This boy never moves from his bunk bed. He is constantly inside of it. He will not leave this. He says no to Guinea Dad. Yes to the pig room bug bed. <laughs> We've got Wanda snoozing away over here. We got Caroline in her cuddle cup. Willow's butt right over there. And I think Lennon is actually in here. So piggies are very sleepy. No one's up, basically. Everyone's sleeping. Toby's right in there. Teddy's in her bunk bed. Alrighty, let's go ahead and clean up this mess and then we'll get to showing off some other things. So this is the result of what just went down. I got all the stuff, I got camera equipment, I got all my monitors. This is what you guys don't see, like the mess of it all. Yeah, let's go ahead and clean this room up. I got a lot to do. I'm just gonna start off with doing my electronics because I think that's probably the most important thing because I don't wanna bang into anything. So I'm gonna go wrap up all my cords, get my computers back into my room, and then we'll be good to go to tackle the rest of this mess.
apologies for the kind of crappy lighting, you guys. I'm still going to end up getting some more lighting in here and having some more kind of like wall sconces or those little lanterns right around here just because it's very dark in here. Just like having this and this and only that does not provide enough light and just a very small window as well. So I apologize for that, but I'm just going to be switching to my vlog camera for the time being because it's just a lot easier to hold this because it's not super heavy and it's just a lot easier to show you guys everything. But here is the pig room, all nice and clean. Well, I still have the vacuum, but everything is cleared out minus my clean laundry and then my vacuum right here, which is the one that I talked about. This is a machine. It is seriously so good. I literally am so happy that I actually ended up getting this one because I was thinking about getting another vacuum like a normal kind of handheld one. This was just by far the best option and I definitely can attest to if you have a lot of guinea pigs or whatever the case may be, this is what you need to get. So good. Here are the piggies cages. Here's Lennon and Willow's cages. I actually ended up cleaning their cage, their cage, their cage, their cage, their cage, their cage last night. All I have to do is just these three cages down here. Everything kind of looks very, you know, sporadic with the colors and stuff. I'm actually going to be in this video making some custom liners, not for myself, but actually for some customers because I have some orders that have to go out pretty soon. So I'll show you guys kind of behind the scenes of that. Not so much a tutorial, but just a kind of what my customers ordered. I don't think I've ever actually shown off my liners on YouTube. I've only ever done it on Instagram. So I think this will be a really good way for you guys to see the quality of my products and my liners and stuff. I make all bunch of sizes, but for these particular orders, I'm making a Midwest one and then a two by four, I believe, and then a two by five. I'm not doing them all today. Um, I'm only doing actually one order for two liners, but I'll show you guys how that all goes down. So here is Wanda and Caroline. As you can see, Caroline is snoozing away, and then Wanda is just eating her pellets as usual. She's a hungry, hungry girl, isn't that right? You hungry, baby? And she's actually been getting a lot more tame and is okay with me. Oh no. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Sometimes she'll let me pet her, sometimes she won't. Let's see if I'll do it. Um, maybe. Can I pet you? Good girl. So she'll let me pet her sometimes, which I'm really happy about because it means that she's warming up to me. Took her long enough, but that's okay. I love you, Wanda. And then we've got Leon and Mr. Styles down here. As I mentioned before, they're still in their temporary cage setup. We will be doing actually a cage extension very, very soon with those grids over there. They've been getting along really, really well zero fights now. In the beginning, they were kind of bickering a lot, but now they're just like totally best friends. I do actually let them out when I'm cleaning their cages. So they have this full entire free roam space for them to just run around and popcorn and stuff, which they really do like. Do you want to say hi to the people who haven't seen you in so long? Miss Eris is doing very well. There's Teddy over there in her bunk bed. I did give him a clean cage as well yesterday. So everything is for the most part looking pretty, pretty dang clean. Going to be doing a spot clean tonight. That's what I do every single night. And then we've got Toby and Ashton over over here, it's actually a little bit darker because for some reason, half of my lights are out. So I have to order more of those as well. And we've got Jojo right here, who's just hanging out in his Paul Chi little wooden house with his new um, Guinea Dad pee pad, which actually Alyssa got me. I actually ended up switching him to a hay rack. So I'll sprinkle a little bit of hay on the litter box itself and then into the hay rack, just because he is so incredibly messy with it and just soils it like within the amount of a couple hours. And I just think that having this will provide him with fresh hay at all times so we can just have, you know, access to hay that's not peed on. So I am in conjunction, you know, with doing a hay rack, also doing it in the litter box. So for those of you who are worried about having a hay rack, he does have access to hay on the floor. I actually need to top up all the pigs as well because they're getting pretty low. This always pops open too. Jojo's a very well-behaved pig and he never runs out. He'll always stay in his cage, but this always comes out. I think maybe because, oh, <laughs> I think because Jojo's just so chunky, that he kind of just forces it open. That bag, there we go, perfect. All right, now he's all locked in there. And then I showed you guys Ezra, who's still in his bunk bed, and then Winston, who's up, and then Kai, who is in the back. But here is Mr. Vision. I'm actually going to be trying to do a bonding session between Vision and Ezra. They have always interacted very, very nicely through the bars. They'll actually eat each other's hay when their litter boxes, I just called a yawn, that was so cute. I'll actually catch them eating each other's hay from their litter boxes when they're up against the grids in that divider right there. So it's really nice that they can kind of share that way. So it gives me some type of hope. Again, with how the bonding went between Jojo and Vision, I don't really have too much hope, but I really do just have a, you know, a good feeling. I have to remain hopeful, obviously, through this whole entire process because it is difficult. But yeah, let's hope that the bonding between Vision and Ezra go well, and they would obviously be getting a three by six as well. So it's plenty of room for them. And then this space over here could be opening up into more cage expansion, and this would be moved into the center of the room, and then this would be gone. So 
A lot of changes are going to be happening in the pig room, which I'm super excited about. I will obviously be doing the bonding videos in separate videos for you guys, because I know a lot of you guys have questions about that, and I think just making a dedicated video towards bonding will just allow more people to come across it, kind of know how to do it themselves. So going to wait on that for a future video, probably within the next two weeks or so. As you guys can see over here, these are the piggy bunk beds that I sell. They are my pig's absolute favorite place to sleep, as you can tell. She's being a perfect little model right now. My girls only ever really stay on the bottom, but my boys love going on the top as you could see with Ezra but I ordered a bunch of these from a new supplier and they actually ended up sending me not this at all it was totally wrong it was cheap it was breaking I think it just might be better to show you guys what they sent me so let's go ahead and I'll show you guys the fail that it was so we are in my room right now my room's kind of a mess because I've been unloading all of these um, but these are actually the bunk beds that they ended up sending me, which is not the design that I asked for. These are really poorly made. Look, at first glance, you guys may be like, what's wrong with them? They look totally fine. But if you follow me on Instagram and saw that whole fiasco and what I was showing you guys, you would know. I actually ended up getting a bunch of colors because I just wanted you guys to have variety to choose from. So unfortunately, this will not be happening with selling these because let's just show you guys. This is how all of the bunk beds came to me, broken, chipped, warped, not properly made, all cracked, just really, really, really bad. This is not safe for piggies to have by any means. Like if they have a hold of this, this plastic, it could be detrimental to their health. So I just knew at first glance of looking at the first couple ones, sorry, this light's a little bit bright. I knew that this wasn't going to be a product I was going to sell on my shop. So as you can even see here, like a lot of these have this like miscut out plastic, like it's just very poorly made. They're bendable, they're breakable. It's just very, very cheap. Oh, I actually didn't see these right here. Need more of those. Um, but I found a solution and a way to save all of the money that I spent. And I actually asked you guys on my Instagram, I put up a little poll, if you guys would be interested in actually having the white bunk beds with colored legs. And a lot of you guys said yes. You thought it was actually really cute. So huge sigh of relief because I can actually end up using all of these um, for the bunk beds, all the extra ones that I have, which I'm really happy about. The only difference uh, between these legs right here is that they're actually a off-white color. They're not pure white like the bunk beds themselves but from afar you really can't notice so it's no biggie but all of these actually fit like a glove like perfectly for the bunk bed so launching soon on my Etsy shop I'll be actually having my bunk bed restock with a choice of either green legs blue legs pink legs or off white legs so I'm really excited for it I'm really really happy that I found a solution I mean when they arrived of course I felt disappointed and like I just got totally scammed which I kind of did and I got a partial refund for it but I just tried to think of a way that I can make a bad situation better and I just thought of this idea and I'm really happy that you guys are just really excited for this so all worked out in the end really happy about that it's really a shame that I got to throw out basically all of these I have like six more boxes downstairs so it's a lot that I'm throwing out of inventory so I'll obviously be updating you guys with the exact date when the relaunch is probably within my next video or even later on yeah that's a little update of what happened between all that bunk bed fiasco I cannot believe like he sent me photos of the ones that I've always had and then he sent me these I was like um yeah that's not what I ordered we're moving on from the situation we're getting better and now we have cute colored legs so cute so I am in the process of giving Caroline a semi health check and also to find out what is happening with her right paw right here I'll actually attach a photo of what it looks like because it's kind of difficult to get it on video but for what I'm doing right now I'm just doing all that I can so I've got some virgin coconut oil which is uh, antibacterial which is really great for any type of kind of infections or fungal stuff related to guinea pigs I've got my actual antifungal cream I just put some CBD on her put that lid back on to keep that safe. I've got some Q-tips, a tissue. I got the joint support tablets just so she can snack down on something. And then I'm also going to be giving her some liquid vitamin C. This is just the Child Life brand. This is the one that Sasuke recommends along with my syringes right here. No needles, just blunt tips. I also gave her a quick nail trim because I did it last night, but it looked like I didn't get that close to the quick. But I just went in there again and cut some more off. So her nails are looking much better. Hi, my baby. Can I see your foot, please? I would like to put you on this so I don't get any... Well, you already made a mess here, baby. <laughs> Give you another treat, and then you can snack down on the pee pad. Does that sound good? Yes? Okay. Good girl. That's my good girl. What's this? Look, what's that? Oh, yum. You got another treat. You're being spoiled. 
All right, so let's go ahead and check out our pawl. It's actually this one over here on the right side. So it's gonna be a little bit difficult. Sorry if it's a little shaky, but you guys are leaning up against the coconut bottle and I'm trying to actually get some so I can put it on her feet. So I just got a little bit right on my finger and I'm just going to just apply that. Can I see your foot, baby? Yes? I'm just kind of hold that there so it can soak in nice and nice and good. I'm not sure if this is a good angle where you guys can actually see what's going on, but there is a little bit of buildup, like almost like crusties underneath. I asked you guys on my Instagram with what you think it is. A lot of people said bumblefoot, bacterial infection, fungus, spores, like a whole bunch of answers. So I think we'll find out in just a bit. I'm just going to see if it'll come off with the coconut oil. And if not, then it's obviously not getting better. I will obviously take her to the vet. All right, now I'm just gonna get a Q-tip. Yeah, so it looks like it's actually attached to her foot. So I'm thinking it might be either a spore or a little bit of a fungal situation. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of this cream. I know, I know, I'm sorry, baby. And just see if that'll clear up within a couple days. And if not, we'll get her to the vet. I did actually call them to make an appointment, but they never got back to me. So I'll monitor her for a couple days and then we'll see how it goes. But I noticed she was limping around and obviously that's a sign of something not being right. So I think along with that, and I can actually physically see something wrong, maybe something that's causing that. If not, it could be a strain. Um, and obviously an x-ray would have to be involved with seeing if that's what it is, if that's the case. We'll just do what we can for right now by ourselves with what I have in my medical kit. And then we'll give her some vitamin C. This is not her favorite thing, but definitely necessary, especially for older pigs. As I'll notice sometimes she doesn't have any interest in green bell pepper. So just giving her an extra boost of vitamin C will help her out. 0.5 milligrams of vitamin C. And she'll back up because she's not going to really take it at first, but eventually she will. Good girl. Yeah, good girl. There we go. All right. So that is pretty much it. I also just noticed that she has a little bit of yellowing on the bottom of her fur. And I think it's because she's been sitting in her pee, which is not good, Miss Girly. So she's actually going to get a bath tomorrow. I'll hold off until tomorrow to do it. I don't want to torture her too much tonight. So she'll get a bath tomorrow, get her all nice and clean and get the underside of her belly. You guys can see there's kind of yellowing on her paws. It's kind of what her belly looks like. But yeah, we're going to monitor her for the next couple days. She is very well behaved and such a sweetheart. Oh my goodness, you're so cute, Caroline. And then we'll get her all nice and cleaned up by tomorrow. And then we'll just see how she uh, is doing. And if again, if it's like not improving, we'll get her to the vet. You want to say goodnight, Caroline? <laughs> she looks so spooked. You want to say goodnight? Want to give them kisses? Good morning, guys. We are in the car almost on our way to Joanne Fabrics. I thought I had all my materials that I needed to get everything done for my shop to reopen, but it looks like I don't. I need a few more things. So we're gonna go ahead there right now and get some uh, more materials. Every single worker that works there knows me by now as a guinea pig man, which is really funny, but I just spend so much money there and I'm constantly there. It's like my second home. Now I did want my shop to open back up on January 1st, but having realized I have so much stuff to make and also, um, kind of going forward with a new plan when it comes to restocks, launches, um, and reopens. I told myself that I only wanted to do those things when I had the products already pre-made. It just makes my life a lot easier and I don't have to do like custom made orders when you guys do order. So everything I can just have pre-made, I just package it and just ship it to you guys. So it takes no time at all to get it to you. It's just a lot easier that way rather than having to like cut out everything and prep it and pin it and then sew it and then all that kind of stuff. It's just a lot easier if I do it now and just put up the stock of what I actually make. So that is what I'm going to be doing going forward. Let's go ahead and go to Joanne's. It's about like a 15, 20 minute drive um, from me. I'm gonna grab some food first because I am starving and then we'll go from there. Just got back from Joann's and I just picked up some of this cotton batting. I'm actually going to be using this for a new product that I'm actually introducing to my shop when I do my reopening of it. So this is actually going to be for what I call my drip pads and they're just small little pee pads. They're about six inch by six inches 
and they're just really mainly for putting under water bottles. I have noticed with a couple of my water bottles, I use the KT brand, the glass ones. For the most part, they don't leak, but I do have some that actually are very loose fitted when I try to kind of tighten them and it's just, they're, they're broken. And I do notice that they do drip more than the other ones. Not all the time, but when the pigs are actually drinking from them, a lot of water leaks out. So just having these drip pads underneath the water bottles will really help to prevent the liner from getting soaking wet and just getting these wet. They're gonna come in a bunch of colors. I actually prepped a bunch of these yesterday. So I have all kinds of shades of blues, reds, pinks, blacks. I've got oranges, purples, greens. I also added some tie-dye ones in there, some other pinks, yellows or a screen, all kinds of colors for you guys to choose from for your cages. And of course, along with those, we will also be doing like jumbo pee pads, swish tunnels, all kinds of things that I've always had out. I've definitely been anticipating my shop to reopen because a lot of you guys have been messaging me on Instagram, on here, on my Etsy, and you're really wanting to buy products for your piggy. So I'm really excited for this launch. I just have my little template right here and all I'll do is just take my blade. I actually need to get um, my replacement one upstairs because this is getting a little bit dull. I'll just use this template and just cut out these little squares, put them to the side, um, and then just keep going until I think I have enough. I think I gotta make like, oh god, over 50 I think. So. Right, guys so I just got to my parents and I am just taking some product shots of my liners so this is for a custom order for one of my customers they ordered a 2x4 liner and then a 2x3 and then if you guys do end up actually ordering two liners I throw in an extra pee pad so I figured I would do this really nice tie-dye one because it kind of matches the uh, purple and the mint color that they chose so just to let you guys know because I never really actually talk about these on my channel all these liners are anti-pill fleece two layers and then a layer of u-haul padding so super absorbent and they also come pre-wicked so you guys can throw them into your cages literally like right when you get them So there's no need for you guys to throw them into the washer, which is really nice So I'll just give you an overview of what this one looks like So this one is the two by four and then it has the inseam right here Just to keep the u-haul padding all nice and staying together in there And then this is the two by three one that they ordered and then again the pee pad same material uh, one layer of U-Haul in the middle and then two layers of anti-pill fleece and then again having the matching gray side on the bottom side. We are back in the car. I just left all well, my parents and then I went to PetSmart and then dropped off those liners to the post office. And now I'm just headed back home because I have some more things to do. I have a busy day actually. I have a lot of cleaning to do that's unrelated to the pig room stuff. Um, and also a lot of orders and just things to fulfill and then orders to make to prepare for the launch. So a lot of stuff is going on today, super busy. I wasn't able to actually go to the farm today to get the piggies more hay because I called them twice and they didn't answer and I didn't want to drive all the way there and get there and it was closed and then just wasted my time and my gas. Um, so I just ended up going to PetSmart and grabbing a 90 ounce bag of Timothy hay right here. I don't 100% support, you know, going to big chain pet stores like Petco and PetSmart because they're not the most, you know, I don't even have to say it. They're not the best to go to supporting and giving more money to those corporations, especially when it comes to live animals. Um, so I like to go to my local farm. So I don't typically ever go there. So if you guys do need hay um, and you have the means of ordering it and don't need it as soon as possible, definitely go through Chewy because PetSmart is no longer associated with them. I mean, if you are in dire need of getting hay for your piggies, 
you obviously should get it if they need it. Um, so it's not the end of the world if you guys do end up going to a pet store. Um, but I did do it. I got a 90 ounce just to hold me over until Monday because they are closed on the weekends and with the holidays and stuff like that. Let's go home and I will talk to you guys when I get there. So we're going to be doing a little bit of a haul. I just got home and I had two packages on my doorstep. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six things to show you guys, three things to open. Let's start off with my hay right here. This is the Western Timothy Hay by Oxbow. This is what I actually used to buy my pigs when I had like two because it's a pretty good amount for two guinea pigs. But now having 16, I definitely need a lot bigger amounts of hay because I go through it so fast. So as I mentioned before in the car and you guys probably already know by now, I go to my local farm and I get 150 pounds of Western Timothy hay, same exact kind of hay, just obviously by a different supplier and in a much bigger quantity. But again, because the farm was closed down, I decided to go ahead and get a little bag of Oxbow Timothy hay from PetSmart. This cost me about 19.57, so like 20 dollars which is decent I guess for store-bought hay but also at the same time I get literally like <laughs> 130 pounds more maybe even more for double the price $40 so not worth it in that grand scheme but $20 you know if to hold me over for a couple days is definitely worth it I got this for them because they are running really low and they need hay obviously 24 7 so I had to get that for them and then I mentioned in oof, this is a heavy bag oh my god all right, I'll just keep it right there so you guys can just um, see that. So this is going to be in conjunction with this right here, which is the KT ah, Clean and Cozy. So I'm just going to be mixing these two together. I'm sorry, I don't know why my camera is not autofocusing, but I'm going to be mixing these two together because this tends to be a little bit rougher. So I don't really want to have anything that's like could cause any soreness on the guinea pig's feet. So I'm going to be using this and mixing it together with this. And I know this is really soft and also super safe for piggies. And it also says this expands by three times the size of the bag. So hopefully that's true because I definitely need a lot of this. And then I had this delivered to my parents' house. When I was over there, I got this package, but this, oh, I should probably should not show the address. Hopefully you guys didn't see that. Um, I got the, oh my God, the address is everywhere. Here we go. You guys can see it right there. I got the Small Bet Select guinea pig food, which is the soy free and non-GMO one. As you guys know, um, soy can be... It's, it's kind of controversial with guinea pigs, but it really does depend based on your guinea pig and how sensitive they are to soy because soy can actually cause bladder stones. So I decided to just get this one. It is a little bit more expensive and it's not that much that I'm getting. I think it was like $30 for eight pounds, 10 pounds. I think it's like a 10 pound bag, I wanna say. So it's really not much and it is very expensive, but it is really good food. So I'm going to be mixing this with the Oxbow Essentials brand and then the Oxbow Garden Select. So it'll be a good variety of them to pick and choose what they like. Hopefully they take to this as well because it is a very healthy food. So I really hope they eat it. So yeah, I got this and then we will move on to our last two packages, which I think I know what they are actually now because I'm thinking about it. I actually ended up getting a face wash and toner, and this could potentially be it. Oh, okay, so this is, oh, they shipped this all together, actually. Let's see if this is what the other thing is. Yep, it is, okay, perfect. Really unrelated to pigs, but I guess I just figured I would show you guys. You guys actually have asked me multiple times for hair care routine and a skincare routine, and honestly, I just try to go for the most natural products that I can possibly use on my body, both my hair and my skin. So I look for things with no parabens, sulfate-free, vegan, um, that, that kind of realm of things. Um, and I actually came across this uh, skincare brand called Rovectin. Is that, I think that's how you want to pronounce it, Rovectin. And it's just a really natural, great, clean brand. I was watching some girl on YouTube and she used a bunch of these products and her skin was like absolutely gorgeous. So she sold me on it and I decided that I wanted to try it out. So this is just the Rovectin Skin Essentials Conditioning Cleanser. Um, advanced formula and it's also hyperallergenic. It is Korean because it has Korean on the back. I love Korean skincare. I actually used to work. I was a manager at a Korean um, clothing store back in Brooklyn when I used to live there for about a year or two. And we always sold really great skincare products and I would always go home with some and they were seriously the best. They made my skin look so good. So I really try to also opt for getting Korean stuff because the stuff they use in their products is like top of the line. And I really just do not trust US based products because I don't know, it's just a little iffy. And then this one is by the same brand Rovectin and it's called the Sika Care. Sika Care, I think you want to say it like that. Purifying toner, and it says advanced formula, hypoallergenic, no paraben, no fragrance, no colorant, 
and no mineral oil. So super natural, super free of anything. So I'm really excited to try this out. But what the girl did in her video was she actually ended up putting this toner. So typically when you use a toner, you put it on a cotton pad and then just swipe it over your face. She actually ended up putting it into a bubbler. So this is kind of what you would use for like soap and stuff like that. And what she did is she actually ended up pouring this entire bottle of toner inside of this bubbler. And when you would pump it out, it would obviously be in a bubble format. And she would just apply that everywhere to her face and her body. And it would just sink into the skin a lot better than as if you were to use a cotton pad. And also you get a lot more use out of your product. So I'm really excited to try this out. And also she uses this on her body. And sometimes I will have some like red marks on my back or my arms and stuff like that, or even my chest. And I really just wanted to try that out and just put it everywhere on my body to see if it really helps with that. So yeah, I'm super excited for that. Um, I may give you guys an update, even though it's not really guinea pig related to how these products work. But for those of you who are interested in knowing what I am currently using or have used, um, I always use natural products and this is currently the one that I'm going to be using for the next couple months. So I'll let you guys know how this ends up working for me. That's pretty much it for my haul. I'm not sure what I'll film next, but I'll talk to you guys Good later. Good morning, guys. We are on our way to go get some hay for the piggies. They literally finished that one that I bought from Petco like in like a day and a half. I guess having 16 pigs, 90 ounces of hay does not last that long. I actually was not a fan of that one. Typically, I'll get the Timothy hay and orchard grass mix, but this one was just the Timothy hay alone, and it was just a lot of short stalks and was nothing substantial, and I thought for the price I paid for $20, I should have got a fair amount of hay at least, but also good quality hay, and that was just like, it was dry to me, it was brittle, it just was not good. Usually when I pack in hay to the litter boxes, it's like full and it's like a mound, but this was just like laying on the ground as like a little, little bump because it was such little pieces. And a huge question that I always get when it comes to buying hay from farms, a lot of you guys ask me like, are you worried about mites and bugs and all those kinds of things that come along with farm hay? That is a very realistic concern. It was something that I even had in the beginning because going from store-bought hay, which is treated, to then a farm hay, which is not at all, um, it runs a risk, higher risk of bugs and mites and all kinds of things, spiders, more dust, all kinds of things that could potentially, you know, hurt your guinea pigs. I definitely take that into account, but one, I will say that really go through a reliable source, go through a farm that, you know, takes care of their product, that stores them properly. That's the number one thing, honestly, is making sure it's stored properly because that is what will avoid bugs. Um, sorry, I'm just gonna hold you guys while I turn this corner so you guys don't fall over. I'm actually just gonna hold it for the time being now. Um, but making sure you're going through a farm that's reliable because the way they store it really does matter in the quality of the hay. A huge thing as well is the hay is super green, the one that I buy, and that's because it's stored in a really big farm with like mounds of hay and it has very little sun exposure and you'll see um, people do buy hay um, that looks a little bit more brown and yellow and just not as lush and green and that's because it has more sun exposure to that hay so i'm always making sure that i'm getting like the greenest possible hay for my piggies because i know they really like it um so yeah i'm gonna go there now it's about a 20 minute drive for me it's really not that far it's actually pretty close so i get 150 pounds for 40 dollars and as you guys could have saw um, in the previous clips i got literally a 90 ounce bag for 20 dollars of half the cost of what i'm getting so yeah, it just makes more sense to go through these people. Um, so if you guys are interested in going to a farm, I definitely recommend um, just jumping online and seeing what kind of local farms are around your area. Mine has all kinds of hay, um, alfalfa, orchard grass, meadow, Timothy hay, locally grown Timothy hay, non-locally grown, um, all kinds of different sizes, one tie, two tie, three tie, like they have the hook up and I'm really glad that I found this place. Just like that, we got 150 pounds of hay, so freaking much. And that'll last me about, like I think, a month and a half, um, which is honestly a fair amount of time for $40. Just because having so many piggies, it gets very expensive, so going this route just makes a lot more sense. It wasn't $40, it was actually $50. Uh, it's $45 for the 150 pounds, and then it's $50 with all the tax and stuff. So $50 for 150 pounds of hay is like, 
it just makes sense to do that. Like, it's such a steal. Hi, you guys. So, I just wanted to show you a package that I recently got in the mail. I actually ended up ordering two of these. But here it is. Super cute. This is literally, like, the perfect size for a guinea pig to fit in, no matter how big or small. And I also really like that it has another exit or entrance hole, just so that if one pig goes in there, the other one can get out. Because there's sometimes bickering that goes on. I ended up giving the wooden house, the Palchi one, to Leon and Mr. Styles. So, I think I'm going to hold off on giving this to them. And I'll probably give this to maybe the girls, one of the girls or something. I don't know. Sorry, my phone's going off right now. And then it also came with a bunch of zip ties because I noticed in Toby and Ashton's cage, this was very easy to kind of like push in and out. So it ended up actually flopping over when they put both sides out like this. But I'm not really comfortable with actually putting these on there because I just don't want them chewing on the plastic. So I think I might just keep it as is. My girls aren't like crazy, like they're not gonna like push up against this and try to knock it down and stuff. So I think they should manage to be able to keep this together and in one piece. That's what I got. I believe it was like uh, $15 on Amazon. Um, I'll put a little pricing thing so you guys can see how much it was, but really like these and I definitely suggest these to you guys if you have any piggies. And also I just wanted to mention as well, everything that I mentioned that is from Amazon that I got um, in my, I think I did like two hauls so far. Um, and also this one, it's all linked down below. So if you guys are interested in any products um, that I find off Amazon or even on like PetSmart, Peco, uh, Chewy, whatever the case may be, it'll all be linked so you guys can and go check What I'm about out. to work on right now is a custom liner for one of my customers. They ordered a two by five liner in this really pretty floral pattern. They actually saw it on my Instagram when I posted it for another customer who ordered this pattern. So I went ahead and got more at Joann's. Luckily, they actually have this in store because Joann's shipping is the worst thing ever. It's always delayed. They can never ship out anything on time. It's fine, but when it comes to custom orders, I just don't like making my customers wait. And this order that I'm waiting on was supposed to get here yesterday, and it still hasn't gotten here today. So, a little annoyed at that. So, hopefully it gets here as soon as possible. But yeah, Joann's, you need to step your game up because their shipping sucks. It's so bad.
to a package from one of you guys on my doorstep. I believe this is a wish list item. I hope it is. If it's not, we're opening it up anyways. Literally have no idea what it could possibly be. I don't know who it's from, um, but we're gonna find out together. Oh, it's <laughs> not even a wish list item. It's something I ordered. Okay, well, we're still opening it up. Um, they're just LED lights. I ordered these. They're uh, 100 feet long, so really, really long. Um, but I wanted to, as you guys can see, my lights here, I wanted to actually put these um, inside of the pig room so I could have better lighting in there. So I think this will help to provide a little bit more light. I'll probably end up putting these in the pig room probably tomorrow um, because I have too much stuff to do tonight. I'm also trying to get this video up and edited by tomorrow. Um, so I'm gonna be focusing on that in the meantime. I'll link them down below. Not sure how well they are, um, but I'm sure they're they're good. They got good reviews, so I don't have any hesitation on that one. Also, I quickly wanted to show you guys before I leave the mini drip pads. These are what I created for underneath water bottles. I do sometimes experience leaky water bottles, so having a little pad underneath them will help to keep your liners nice and fresh and not wet and just wet these instead, um, which is a lot easier when it comes to cleaning up. So these are going to be launching um, when my shop does open up. I am taking a couple more days in prepping a bunch more products for you guys. Like I mentioned before, I wanna have everything pre-made and just send it to you guys when you do order. So nothing's going to be custom made. So yeah, I'm really excited about these. These are all the colors that they come in. I'm not sure if you can tell the difference. We've got uh, pink, purple, whale blue, boy blue, baby blue, green, yellow, orange, red, and then a tie-dye color. So I've got plenty of options for you guys to choose from. I probably will end up making more colors um, in the future, but this is going to be the first launch that I'm doing. So that is pretty much it for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Again, I am so sorry for the lack of videos this last, I think it's been a month now, crazy to say out loud, but I am back. We are back to making weekly content. I am trying to get better on a schedule because when I have too much stuff going on, I get a little bit too much in my head and I get crazy and I tend to not be able to focus on the things I need to focus on. So yeah, that's it from me guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe for more videos every single week. And I say that confidently because it will be happening ongoing and I will see you guys next week. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.